How's it going everybody? It's your boy. Now, uh, <laughs> there's many things that are wrong with the gaming industry and the gaming press, or even mainstream press reporting on video games, but this one... This one takes the cake for perhaps being the most pathetic story that I've seen. The most pathetic attempt at trying to make a storm out of a teacup, essentially. And this comes from the Metro, which is nothing more than a rag that you can get for free on public transport. That's literally what it is. That's what it's designed for. At least back in the day, now it seems to be more online and it's trying to be a bit more legit, but really it, it's still the Metro. But anyway, this is the story of how a man teen killed and virtually teabagged female journalist during shocking in-game rampage. Shocking in-game rampage. Virtually teabagging. They make it out like he's killed her or raped her or something in real life when all he's done is done something that everybody's done in an online game. Kill somebody, teen kill somebody and teabag them for a laugh. You know, we've all done it. It's happened to me recently. A developer's career is under threat today after he virtually teabagged a female journalist during a demonstration of a video game. The unnamed man was showing off a demo of his game at the conference PAX East when he killed the woman and then squatted up and down on her dead body. He killed her character, not her herself. She's still very much alive, as you can tell. It's just a bit of harmless fun. Video games are not real, guys. This is known as teabagging, for its similarity to a sex act in which a man places his testicles into another person's mouth. Yeah, that's where it comes from, but it's not the same thing. It's really nothing more than a mocking gesture. That's literally what it is, and besides, more men get teabagged than women, especially in these types of games, which is quite clearly a uh, first-person shooter by the sound of it. That's what they're seemingly talking about. Although this incident took place in-game, a complaint has been made to the man's employer, which could have disastrous consequences for his future. Oh, only in the gaming industry could such a thing happen when you teabag somebody for a laugh and now your entire career is in jeopardy because somebody's bourgeois social norms was damaged, was insulted by one nerd. <laughs> yep. The virtual teabag scandal was highlighted by Mike Futter, a games journalist. Well, why am I not surprised? Of course, it's the games journalists after. Of actual, you know, developers who do actual things for gamers. You know, you have, you have your EAs and you have your Activisions, you have your scummy corporate ones, but men like him, they do us a good service. He doesn't deserve any of this, but only the games journalists could do this. Only the games media could make this into a scandal, into a controversy when it really shouldn't be. Who tweeted, friendly tip for devs showcasing games, don't intentionally team kill a journalist and then teabag them, especially if she's a woman. Ooh! White knight here. Oh, why? What are you gonna do? You gonna write an angry letter? What are you gonna do? If a woman gets teabagged or team killed, so what? Apparently it's worse if it's done to a woman than if it's done to a man. Why? It's a video game. Amanda Farrow, who I assume must be the person who is the poor victim, says, I said out loud in my headset, and this is why I hate playing these kind of games. Thanks for the demo. Ugh, you can't even do your job right. That you don't even like these games and you're covering them. I just, ugh, I mean, I understand that journalists are going to cover things they might not like. However, she doesn't like them at all. Like, she doesn't even have exceptions to the rule or things like that. I mean, she's not object... Well, no journalist is object objective these days, but really, this person? And it's pretty clear that she might not actually be a gamer because she should realise that this stuff happens to everybody and it's not a big deal. Now, granted, he thought I was his dev buddy by accident, but holy shit, that was a mistake. No PR around, just dude showing me a game and rolling the dice on being rude. Roll succeeds, target mismatch, roll for initiative. So what, if it was a mistake, why are you now crucifying this guy for a mistake? This is ridiculous. Only SGWs could cause shit like this. The journalist who suffered this simulated sex act appears to be Amanda Farrow, who writes about the gaming business. Farrow then said she would be writing to the developer who made the game, though she declined to shame the person on Twitter. No one is naming names publicly, she said. This is being handled privately and gently. It was an issue of professionalism, nothing more. The above was a PSA, a reminder that this is unprofessional behaviour. That's it. How is this unprofessional behaviour? You're playing a game, he's showing you a demo, and this is shit that happens in games. Like, he did it for a laugh. Like, you could have done the exact same thing to him, and everybody would be fine. Instead, because you can't handle banter, because you can't handle normal social interactions online, this is the result. This man, privately, They've not publicly shamed him, so at least they've somewhat managed to, you know, 
withhold the hate mob against him, for now at least. But that doesn't make it any better. She's basically trying to get a guy fired, or at the very least punished, for something that is completely innocuous. A complaint like this could be enough to get the man fired. I hope the fact that you didn't take their shit totally shattered their weekend, one of Farrow's Twitter followers wrote. I hope it did. Hubris soaked frat boys who responded. <laughs> wow. Game developers. Game developers who spend years and years and years getting bullied in school, because most of them are nerds, they become proficient at coding and computers, and then they become part of teams, like this. And then they get called frat boys by bourgeois social justice frat girls, or rather sorority girls. It's amazing how the jocks have basically taken over the fucking games media, because that's what it seems like to me. And I'm now projecting what they are onto the actual games developers, you know, the ones who actually are the reason why you have a job. Amazing. He's a frat boy for doing what any normal person has done at some point in time. Now, I hope he doesn't lose his job, because hopefully his company isn't cooked and they'll just ignore this, because she should not have the right to get a man fired for something as innocuous as that. I mean, I just, I don't understand it. It doesn't matter if it's private or public. I mean, she's technically made it public anyway, and it's only a matter of time before the man is outed, because this is what's going to happen. And all hell's gonna break loose and that company's gonna get inundated with shit because of teabagging. Let's not forget that the act of teabagging itself is not a sexual thing when it comes to video games. It's a mockery. It's saying, ha ha, look, I shot you. You're shit. Get good. It's co a completely different context. And these people know this, and if they don't know it, well then, they should, because they're games journalists. And if they do know it, then they're just lying and being horrible. And they're basically trying to ruin somebody's life because they got offended. And sadly, this is the society in which we live in, and it wouldn't surprise me if he does get fired because this is the modern games media, this is the modern games industry. Shit like this can get you fired if you anger the wrong people. But anyway, that's really the end of the video. It's quite a short one. I don't really have a lot of time anyway, but regardless, I hope this guy's all right. Hopefully he doesn't lose his job. And uh, well, it's been your boy. Until next time. I'll see you later.